Connecticut parents already know how expensive child care can be. Lawmakers are trying to find ways to make it more affordable. Our chief political reporter, Susan Raff, shows us how much parents could save. She joins us live now with the details. Susan. Erin, this is something that was talked about last year but simply didn't happen. Now there's a renewed push to give families permanent relief for child care. Families are struggling to pay for a lot of things. Unfortunately, child care is one of them. There's not only a shortage of child care, but the cost can be unaffordable. It costs the same amount as college tuition. Representative Kate Farrar is pushing for a child tax credit, $600 per child, up to three children, with a household income of $200,000 a year or less. We know from the United Way that close to 40% of the families in our state cannot make ends meet. Governor Lamont has made child care a priority, and the tax credit may have bipartisan support. Federal and state child tax rebates have now ended. Another proposal lawmakers are debating is TRISHARE. The cost of child care would be shared between families, employers, and the state. Electric Boat, for example, plans to hire about 5,000 more employees a year for the next two or three years. This will only intensify the need for more child care. Parents pay a third, the employer pays a third, and the state pays a third. I guess a number of states, including North Carolina and Michigan, have done something similar, and we're going to try it out. Lawmakers are also looking at many other proposals, such as an incubator program, which would help families set up child care in their home by teaching them how to do it. This is a short legislative session, but given the support for affordable child care from both sides, this may have a very strong chance of passing. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.